Five male personality types. Hello guys, welcome back to Alpha Show, a channel that will completely change your life from negative to positive and make you the person you always wanted to be. After this video, you will understand the five main male personality types. You will also identify where you belong in the pantheon of male personality archetypes. It is important to know that a man does not have to stay in one category for his whole life. Several men who now occupy the higher categories started in the lower ones. They got disconnected with living below their potential and made a deliberate decision to better themselves. I will discuss the alpha, beta, omega, gamma and sigma male personality types and examine their similarities as well as their differences. If you have ever examined the animal kingdom, you will know that the alpha male is the one who attracts the female out of the entire pack for the purpose of procreation. This also means that the chances of other males to get with the females reduce when the alpha is around. But then, that applies in the animal world. In the human world, things are slightly different. By different, I mean that apart from romantic partnerships and emotions that govern the human world, in this massive rat race, alpha males are not the only ones who demonstrate women's ideals, at least not anymore. In all fairness, the best combination to determine your masculinity is a variety of personality types you can practice. While alpha males appear more desirable with their rugged and rough exterior, it is actually the other personality types that attract women the most. Things have drastically changed today. There is also a high probability that men change their personality type with experience and age to better understand relationships in their lifetime. 5 Male Personality Types Number 1. Alpha Male Personality the alpha male personality is the most popular. This personality type goes with the nickname bad boy, and members are often the men who need their men to be men. He is the macho person who drips confidence with a bit of aggression, who is outgoing and demanding. This is not to say that alpha males naturally objectify women. Nevertheless, they are very confident that they can get any woman they want. A typical alpha also wishes for someone very docile and with a few or no alpha traits at all. An alpha male can be a handful to work with because his ego skyrockets any time he is proven wrong. However, he makes up for that through his charisma. An alpha male is a type that women would love to be with all the time. He is good-looking, his charm makes any woman's heart melt, and his words can compel you to do anything he wants. He is very successful both in his private and business life, and because of that he has lots of enemies. An alpha is a natural-born leader, so when he speaks, the rest of the people around him don't talk. He is always the center of attention, and when he is talking, people look like someone has cast a spell on them. In an alpha's company, everyone tends to feel good because he is good enough to ask them to join him and all of them, including his bosses, are marvelled by the ideas he can think of at a short notice. A man of that figure is definitely someone who admires social gatherings and who enjoys being the star of every discussion. He cherishes being among people while he hates when he is all alone. When he is alone, he feels exhausted, like he doesn't have any energy left, which is why he tries to often go out with friends, telling some funny jokes so they can all laugh and enjoy life. The alpha male loves his freedom the most in the world, and he doesn't want to sacrifice it, no matter what. When he sees a woman he is attracted to, he doesn't hesitate and he approaches her immediately, not giving her time to refuse him. From such a character, you will always hear some cute pickup lines that will make any woman fall for him. I think you can conclude that this type of personality is the most attractive and appealing, and that both women and men desire to be alphas. Number 2. Beta Male Personality The perfect beta male is your average Mr. Nice Guy. He is quite moderate in his approach to life, and his nice guy personality gets him by. He gets taken for a ride from time to time and then because of that, but generally everyone likes him. Beaters are more sensitive and less aggressive than alphas. They also take criticism well and demonstrate collaborative skills. The thing that can disrupt their performance as a man is their reserved nature and introvert-like behaviour. They are the guys who were quiet while in school and slightly nerdy as well, and were probably bullied. This type of man just grew up to be light-hearted, emotional nice guys who can be idealistic. In choosing a life partner, women often choose beta males to alphas, especially if an alpha has broken her heart, even though women prefer betas as friends more than lovers. That's correct, betas make some great friends with the opposite sex. 
Additionally, betas are good, just like the alphas, but show more emotions and feelings. Betas are the kind of dudes with who a woman would want to have kids with, as mentioned earlier, and when she meets one, she'll have the feeling that he can be her best friend and her lover at the same time. A typical beta is sensitive, reliable, modest, and easygoing. He's easily embarrassed and not quite sure about his looks or his personality. If you notice a guy who is just keeping quiet and smiling from time to time while his other friends talk and tell funny jokes, then he's most likely a beta male. This type of dude feels comfortable enough to go out with his friends and to have a great time, but when it comes to talking, he's not really sure that he can do that well. In fact, he's scared that he will say something wrong when he is with girls. Beaters fear embarrassments, and when he is with fellow guys, he doesn't want to tell them different kinds of things because he knows that if he shows his true feelings, they'll tease him about it. At his place of work, he is often reliable, and that is even if he is not in the spotlight. So his bosses don't see his potential, and he doesn't get all those rewards and promotions when he should. In relationships, a beta is always faithful, so today, several women choose to marry this kind of man because he is the fantastic husband material. Generally, the beta male is more down-to-worth than an alpha male, and it is much easier to forge a stable relationship with him. Number 3. A meager male personality Are you familiar with Ben Stiller, the Hollywood star? In most of his movies, he acts as an Amiga male. Ben has really nerdy habits. For example, he may be a collector of something like comic books, coins, insects, or even video games. He is incredibly laid back and lazy, and acts like he doesn't have a care in the world. He is immature to a point, irresponsible, and lacks ambition. He was also picked on a lot in high school or college because of his reserved behaviour most times. Amigas are also known to be very intelligent people, but they don't act on that. They don't have enough ambition to do something about their intelligence. Solving a difficult math problem over a pizza is what they'll likely do, and they don't care about anything else. An Amiga is some sort of mix of Alpha and Beta. Sometimes he doesn't know what he stands for, and when things don't happen as he imagined, he thinks that it is other people's fault. In business, he might think that he is the smartest one, saying that he is the indispensable worker and that without him, the entire system will fall apart. Amigas have a twisted idea of love, and only he wants his needs and desires to be satisfied. He loathes the idea of giving anything in love relationships, and if he does it, he will want something better in return. An Amiga male can also be difficult to please, and that is why many women don't like to go on dates with him. He usually ends up alone just because he is not willing to listen to his partner. A typical Amiga will be a lazy husband who relies on his wife's expenses most times and doesn't lift a finger to assist her with house chores. If you care less about how your room is arranged or seem disorganized with the things involving you, then there are chances that you are an Amiga. Number 4. Gamma Male Personality Gamma males love enjoying themselves, but don't avoid their responsibilities at the same time. They are the adventurous and fun-loving ones who tend to get incredibly restless if they are left idle for too long. An alpha male might mature into a gamma male because gamma males are a more refined version of them. Gamma males are the type that is mostly shy, too, who never have the courage to make the first move. A gamma tries so hard to achieve his goals, but he really doesn't want to go the extra mile to finish something, even if he knows that by doing so, he will gain the respect he wants. He is the type of dude who wants to be popular by all means, but always fails. In business, he is sneaky, and he wants to get things done, even if he doesn't put a lot of effort in. With his bosses, he will be the only one who will just nod his head to everything they have to say, and the ones who never say what he actually thinks about anything. In romantic relationships, Gamma can be very hard to handle because they can be obsessed with the girl they like. In fact, he can become a stalker if she doesn't want to go out with him or if she avoids him. A Gamma lacks self-esteem and often thinks that regardless of how hard he tries, he will never be enough. He enjoys being alone, and he doesn't really care about what others think about him. In relationships, he can be clingy to a fault, and that can lead to the end of all his romantic links. Meanwhile, when he falls in love, he does it so hard, and he thinks that his partner is the best woman in the world. He'll also tend to believe that he can trust her no matter what happens. He might even be too blind to see when a woman uses him, and he'd rather live being deceived about something than to be right and aware.
Additionally, gammas are sensitive towards the opposite sex and are quite aware of the nature and needs of women. They will do anything in their power to fulfill their partner's needs as well. Women would really enjoy a relationship with gammas. This male personality also highlights a particular amount of feminine behaviors, values, and expectations to win their partner's heart. They cherish putting their family first in any given scenario and situation. Number five, Sigma male personality. The Sigma male is said to be the more evolved version of the Alpha. Sigmas get things done their own way and have little time to bend to arbitrary rules that are constructed by society. They believe that without the superficial rules, they can be more efficient in using their own initiative and innovation. A lot of entrepreneurs have Sigma habits. They think outside the box of accepted norms. These men don't need to boast about their accomplishments. They have a more keep it low nature, which gives them an aura of mystery that women and even other men find intriguing. However, be careful not to mistake their silence for weakness or shyness. In a situation that demands it, the Sigma male can represent himself in a way that makes even the Alpha male tremble. A typical Sigma male is confident, calm, and stoic. He has a charismatic, positive attitude that attracts people. These are just five male personality types, and I'm sure that by now you must have known where you belong or almost belong. Which personality type do you think is the coolest and why?